If you're like most people, you've saved your home movies and videos on DVDs by using a service company. But what happens when your DVD player breaks and there's no one to repair it? What happens when a DVD gets scratched and it won't play? You have to digitize those DVDs to digital files. Here's how to do that. The first thing you'll need is a portable DVD writer that will play or record CDs and DVDs both. This handy little gadget has a USB connection which allows you to plug it directly into your computer. Next, go online and download Handbrake. It's the best free open source software for downloading and converting videos. Next, load any DVD that you want to convert to a file format and open Handbrake. Here's the handbrake opening screen. I'm going to go up to the left hand corner, click open source. There's the DVD player. I'm going to click on the title, open, and now it's starting to scan the file. So it shows you the source, and this particular title has multiple uh, chapters in it, so it's going to scan each chapter. Once it completes its scan, then it's going to show up as a title of a file. There's your source title and here's the destination. Now this is going to the desktop, but you've got choices of where you can put the file. You can browse and choose anything. I'm choosing desktop, that way I know where it is. Next up is the uh, format. There's two two types of formats, MP4, MKV, I always like MP4. The codec, the video encoder, has several options. I like H.264 because it's most widely used and most uh, efficient. Uh, so in the middle you've got your video, then you've got your picture, and picture shows your resolution. A DVD is a standard definition, it's not HD, so it's 720 by 480. Audio, AAC is uh, pretty much a widely used format. You can go a AC3 or MP3. I, I stick with AAC. It's simple. But I do always want to take the bit rate up to maximum. It defaults to 160. I always go to 320. You probably won't have subtitles on your personal videos, but uh, they come in handy with movies if you're doing those. Chapters also are handled easily on Handbrake. And if you're going to put this up on the web on YouTube or Facebook, you can click Web Optimized. But if it's for your personal use, you don't need to. Once you click Start, down in the lower left corner, it'll give you a readout, a progress report, and a progress bar. This is going at 106 frames per second, so it's much more efficient faster than real time. I'm pretty pleased with the quality of the files that Handbrake generates, but what I'm giving you is just a basic roadmap, a simple way to convert to digital files from your DVDs. If you want to get uh, more focused on different devices and different uh, tweaks, the column in the right hand side of the screen gives you many options to choose from. Okay, it looks like the finished file is done and it's finished processing. So I'm going to go to my finder and I'm going to go to my desktop and find the file that's generated. There it is. Now I'm going to go to open with and go to QuickTime because QuickTime is a free player that is already in your Mac. Don't need to buy any extra software. Here's the file and it plays beautifully. If this video was helpful to you in saving your home movies and family history, be sure to subscribe because I've got lots of other informative videos on archiving and preserving all kinds of media. See you next time.